All you need is love, love, love. All you need is love. Okay, I will not bastardize that song anymore. It does have to do with today's topic, and I won't subject you to any more of my failed singing career. But on a side note, I did have a sixth grade music teacher saying that my bass and my voice was perfect for choir. Never decided to go down that route, but I have noticed on this podcast and other podcasts that having a podcast has deepened my voice even more to more of a bass. So there probably is some truth to that. I have just yet to go down it. But let's get back to today's topic versus you hearing me rant on my leap voice. So it all starts with love is the topic that I want to dive into today. And you might get a little mad at me if you're a longtime listener or if you're a first-time listener because I'm going to be blunt for a little bit. Now, I've been blunt before in the podcast but I'm going to tell you some truths. And those truths might ruffle your feathers. So here's number one. It is the relationship with love that is keeping you stuck. It is your relationship with love where most problems start. Now that might be a hard thing because most guys don't even acknowledge love other than maybe the physical, sexual sense. But in this case, your ability to love is the place where most problems start your love of food, your love of working out, your love of work, your love of overdoing anything that you can think of. Your love is where most problems start. Our relationship with ourselves is the soil where life grows from. So let's tie that together. If love is where most problems start, the relationship with ourselves is going to become the soil where our life grows from. Our relationships grows from, our relationship with our kids grow from, our relationships in our career grows from, your network, your family. Everything grows from the soil. And your relationship with yourself is the soil. If you have a shitty relationship with yourself, you're going to have shitty quality soil and very little life will grow from it. You'll always have one of those poor man farms. And if you've seen the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie, it'll probably look like eons dirt farm that they joke about in the beginning of the movie before you realize the purpose of that number three our relationship with self-love is where we learn that life happens for you not to you now that is something we've dove in on the podcast but i really want to focus on love we've got valentine's day coming up and we often always focus on our partner and the significant people that are in our life but i want to kind of spend some time this week talking about the relationship with love and you I've done it before, but we're going to compartmentalize and we're going to do a mini theme of love this week and continuing it on this daily basis leading up to Friday. But let's go back to that third point because I want to dive into it a little bit. Our relationship with self-love is where we learn life happens for you, not to you. Why is that important? Let's break that down. Self-love is just as basic form of your ability to love yourself. Now, that sounds weird, quirky, and it doesn't sound like something other men should say out loud. But your ability to accept yourself, your ability to honor yourself, your ability to have common decency towards yourself, self-respect is a word that men often use, but self-love is not. Because when you have to develop self-love, There are three categories of self-love that I always like to talk about. The good parts, maybe your house, your car, your career, your status. Those are the easy ones to love. What about the bad parts? What about losing your job? What about having two two failed marriages under your belt? What about the ugly? What if there was something really horrible that happened in your life and you've never acknowledged it? In order to have a healthy relationship with self-love, you have to work through the good, the bad, and the ugly of your life. In the good, the bad, and the ugly of your life is exactly where you will learn the things that you need to learn to keep your life moving forward to break your own cycle. Again, let's circle back all three of those. Our relationship with love is where most problems start. Our relationship with ourselves is where the soil for life grows. Our relationship with self-love is where we learn life happens for you and not to you. And in this process of self-love, the fertilizer, the shit, the bad and the ugly get worked into the soil, which enrich in the soil, which changes what grows from it. You want a bigger harvest? You put more shit on a soil to make it grow better. You want bigger tomatoes? You put more fertilizer. 
the shit of your life is the fertilizer. And it takes a lot of shit to make good soil. Self-love is the cultivation of the shit that's stacked on top of the soil into the soil. If you have one of those lives that feels like it smells like shit, it looks like shit, and you're just like, man, I just feel like this is a dumpster fire of a life. It's not that you have a dumpster fire of a life. You've just got piles of shit lit sitting around that you have not worked into the soil. And it's the process of learning to love all those things, good, bad, and the ugly, that allows you to grow and change what grows from your soil. Now, I know all of these things firsthand because I learned them all the hard way. And it was that relationship with love that kept me broken and in my cycle of problems. Your relationship with love is what's keeping your cycle of problems on repeat. Whether it be the relationship with love growing up as a kid, your relationship with love in a failed relationship or a marriage, those will repeat problems over and over. Ever ran into one of those guys that has two to three marriages under his belt like it's a trophy that he hangs on the wall? Most likely, 98% of the time, it's going to be his relationship with love is distorted. And he skipped one of those three steps that I mentioned. You cannot give something to others that you first don't have for yourself. You cannot give love externally without conditions if you first struggle to give it for yourself. You can't teach your kids to have something for themselves that you first can't model. If you are consistently trying to teach your kids how to self-love, learn to love the world, and accept it, but every time they yell, scream, kick, and you get triggered, you can't healthily model that ability to love your kids, even on their worst days, if you do not have your shit in order. You cannot break those cycles of bad relationships until you first break the cycle with yourself. That unhealthy relationship with yourself is something that's really important. Writing this, I often had this weird thought popped in my head that maybe what I am also is a relationship coach, not with another person, but the relationship with yourself. Now, let's acknowledge some more hard truths here. Life is an exhausting effort that we feel daily. But if you have a poor effort in filling your cup first, understanding how to cultivate the things in your life to make it a richer life, everything else just ends up being mediocre. If you're lucky. If you're not lucky, it smells like shit. I am looking for three dads who want to break this cycle and heal the relationship that they have with themselves and create a lasting legacy of change for their families. The relationship with yourself is the model that you will use to teach your kids. Unhealthily, consciously, unconsciously, your relationship with yourself is what you use to teach with your kids. If you've had an unhealthy relationship with love with yourself or with others, you are perpetually creating a cycle that's going to repeat. I can't tell you how many dads I talk to where they are struggling in their marriage and they realize, damn, it happened to me too. Even though growing up as a kid in broken family, they were like, I'm never going to get divorced. Meanwhile, it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you want to be one of those three dads, reach out to me, ben at bencoloy.com. Message me the word break. Again, if you want to be one of those three dads to break the cycle, heal your relationship with yourself create a lasting legacy of change. Not just one that looks good on paper for a few weeks, but a lasting legacy of change. Again, message me the word break, ben at bencolloy.com. Guys, that is all I have for you today. Hopefully that hard truth got you excited, got you a little bit maybe nervous because I opened up a lot of wounds and maybe you hadn't dove it into. Again, hopefully it made you a little bit mad because when I make you a little bit mad, that means that I hit something. When I hit something, that means we've got progress to move through. So guys, have an amazing day, and I'll bring another love story to you tomorrow.